I went to Hartbury College and um, at the end of Hartbury College I got a professional contract with Gloucester and also a scholarship to the university and um, did my first year at university whilst being in the Gloucester Academy and when I got moved into the first team at Gloucester I've continued my studies part-time whilst playing professionally um, for Gloucester and that's where I am still now. It's, it's definitely manageable, I've, I've had a lot of help from um, the staff at, um, at Hartbury, particularly Andrew Dobson and Jill Rindle, they've been, they've been great help moving exams, sitting with me privately for tutorials and, and fitting me in and because of that it's been definitely achievable. I definitely have intense times where I've got to get home from training and just smash out some revision or, or an assignment but it's, it's all the worthwhile now because I've, I've managed to get through it and um, got my foundation now and I've, I'm, I'm going on towards to do my BA at the moment. Whilst I've got the time, I, I can fit it in, so I feel that it's a good opportunity for me to carry on what I started and, and get my degree so that when I'm done with rugby I've got something on my CV that I can be proud of and something that's going to lead on to future work. For instance, on a Tuesday I've got a lecture at 3 o'clock and I don't finish training until 4 o'clock so it's, it's not happening any week really and people like Mike Green have sat with me on a Wednesday who's just gone over the stuff and he's pointing me to things on Blackboard in the summer I was on tour with England and I missed an exam and Jill managed to to move the exam for me so that I sat it on my own when I got back uh, and that was that was really important in terms of if I hadn't sat that exam I wouldn't have got have my foundation now I needed to sit that exam and the only way really was to move it and I think they've worked really hard to, to, to help me through it and it, that, that's that's what's made it possible. Just the, the help, the helpfulness, and, and the commitment of the staff have been really good. I couldn't talk highly enough of it in terms of the college, you, 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 and and at the university, you're near enough training as a professional athlete every day, and you're improving. You're exposed to opportunities, and if and if you want to take your rugby seriously and give it a go. You've got you've got a chance here, and it's not in terms you're not throwing all your eggs in one basket either. Because if it doesn't work out, you're going to have a degree. If you work hard, you're going to have a degree at the end of it. So you you can really go for your rugby, or or the other way around. You can go for your degree and be serious about your rugby as well. But it's a place where you can definitely do both, and it gives you a great opportunity to further your rugby and further yourself academically. I think just. Just a degree is something that's universally um, like recognised as a higher level of a high a high level of academic achievement, and it gives you that gives you that success and respect as, as to be employed. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet, but I know that if I can do something academic or non rugby related alongside rugby each year, so maybe when my BA is done, I could do some coaching courses or or get some work experience. It just means that. When it all comes to an end, I've, I've built up a CV and it, it means that I'll, I'll hopefully be employable somewhere.